When you're good at what you do, word spreads fast, people start trusting you, and before you know it, you're getting more and more jobs. The same thing happens in the space industry. When governments or private clients want to launch something into orbit, they don't necessarily look for the oldest or richest company, they look at who's proven themselves. And if we're talking about track records, no one even comes close to SpaceX. Just recently, SpaceX landed a massive contract with the Pentagon, one that could reshape the next decade of U.S. space missions. Before we get into what this deal means, make sure to subscribe to the channel for future updates. If you go back a decade and tell someone that SpaceX would become the most successful space company in the world, winning almost every major government contract, they would have laughed in your face. Because the reality back then was completely different. In the early 2000s, SpaceX wasn't the space giant we know today. It was a risky startup, founded by a guy who made his fortune from PayPal, and was now saying he wanted to make rockets reusable. Back then, reusing rockets wasn't just seen as ambitious, it was seen as impossible. Every other company and expert in the industry believed rockets were meant to be single-use. You launch them once, they burn up or crash into the ocean, and that's it. That was the business model. But Musk didn't see it that way. His idea was simple on paper, but unbelievably hard in reality. Build rockets that could launch, land, and then fly again. Just like airplanes. The problem was, spaceflight is brutally unforgiving. Everything has to go perfectly, and even one tiny error can destroy years of work. SpaceX's early rockets, the Falcon 1, failed multiple times. The first launch in 2006 didn't even make it to orbit. The second attempt failed again. The third one also failed. Each failure burned through millions of dollars that the company didn't have much of. Engineers were exhausted, and everyone in the aerospace world said the same thing. We told you it was impossible. By 2008, SpaceX was on the brink of bankruptcy. They had just enough money for one final launch. If that flight failed, the company would be done. Musk later said he had to choose between saving SpaceX or Tesla because both companies were out of money at the same time. He split his last remaining funds between them. And then, finally, on September 28, 2008, Falcon 1 reached orbit on its fourth attempt. That single success changed everything. It proved SpaceX could build real rockets that worked. Right after that flight, NASA took notice. Later that year, NASA awarded SpaceX a $1.6 billion contract under its Commercial Resupply Services program. This deal gave SpaceX the opportunity to deliver cargo to the International Space Station, using its new Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft. That NASA contract saved SpaceX from bankruptcy and became the foundation for everything that followed. Fast forward a few years, SpaceX didn't just recover, it grew faster than anyone imagined. In 2012, it became the first private company in history to deliver cargo to the International Space Station. Then in 2014, NASA doubled down on its trust in SpaceX with another major deal, the Commercial Crew Program. SpaceX was awarded $2.6 billion to build Crew Dragon. That was a massive turning point. Boeing, which got a similar contract worth $4.2 billion, was expected to lead. But the opposite happened. By 2020, Boeing's Starliner was still grounded, while SpaceX successfully launched Crew Dragon, sending NASA astronauts to the International Space Station. It was the first time since the Space Shuttle's retirement that the U.S. could send astronauts to space from American soil, and it wasn't NASA doing it, it was SPACEX. From there, things only accelerated. With the successful liftoff of Starship in 2023, even the remaining doubters started to believe that SpaceX could pull off anything it set its mind to. Contracts began pouring in, one after another, and today SpaceX has just landed one of its biggest wins yet, a massive multi-year contract from the Pentagon to launch national security missions. Now, here's the story. The U.S. Space Force has a program called the National Security Space Launch. It's basically how the government picks which rockets get to launch top-secret military satellites and other national security payloads. These missions are high stakes, no room for error, 
and only a few companies are trusted to handle them. In the latest round of awards, three companies made the cut, SpaceX, United Launch Alliance, and Blue Origin. But the numbers tell you everything. SpaceX was assigned 28 missions, more than half of all available. ULA got 19, and Blue Origin only 7. These aren't all happening right away. The government usually assigns and funds missions years in advance. The current group covers planning between 2025 and 2029, with most launches happening later, around 2027 to 2031. But for the 2026 fiscal year, SpaceX already has five confirmed missions, ULA has two, and Blue Origin has none for that year. So why did SpaceX dominate this contract? It's pretty simple. SpaceX rockets, Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, have become the gold standard for cost efficiency. For starters, Falcon 9 has now launched successfully over 500 times, with a success rate above 99%. That kind of consistency is unheard of in the space industry. Most companies would consider 10 launches a busy year. SpaceX can do 10 in a single month. In fact, just last year, they launched more than 120 rockets, breaking their own previous record. To put that in perspective, their closest U.S. competitor, United Launch Alliance, only managed a handful of launches, while Blue Origin hasn't even started regular orbital flights yet. And it's not just about how often they launch, it's about how smartly they operate. SpaceX builds almost everything in-house. The rocket engines, the guidance systems, the software, even the satellites, all developed under one roof. Other aerospace companies like United Launch Alliance or Boeing rely heavily on a long list of contractors and subcontractors, which means higher costs. Then there's the reusability factor, the thing everyone once said was impossible. While other companies still throw away entire rockets after one flight, SpaceX lands and reuses its boosters multiple times. Some Falcon 9 boosters have flown 20 or more missions each. That's like flying an airplane 20 times instead of crashing it after every trip. Reusing rockets' cuts costs massively. For example, on October 3rd, Falcon 9 launched 28 Starlink satellites from Vandenberg Space Force Base. The booster, B-1097, landed just eight minutes later on the drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. That single landing marked SpaceX's 125th successful booster recovery this year alone. Think about that. 125 landings in one year. That kind of consistency is exactly why SpaceX keeps winning contracts. With that pace, SpaceX is on track to complete over 170 launches in a single year, something no other company or country has achieved. That's why a typical national security launch from SpaceX costs between $120 to $140 million, while ULA's new Vulcan rocket, which can't yet be reused, costs around $214 million per flight. When you're launching billion-dollar military satellites, that price difference becomes huge over time. You could save hundreds of millions by simply choosing SpaceX. That's it for this video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.